hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to see range slider in flutter so for that you simply need to write range slider like this and it takes values as an input and an on change property for it so let's get range values first for range values like this range values let's get values equal to range values and it takes the values like start and end so let's say we have a start of one and a value of end is 100 so let's give the values so its values are set and in the on change it takes the function as let's say it has a value and in the set state we have to set the state of our values equal to the value so let's save our app so it requires two more properties which are minimum let's say one and maximum which is 100 so these these are the range values okay so now you can see our range slide in flutter so there are many options to customize it for like for example let's say color mm, it has a property called active color so for it let's set our active color as a red and for inactive color let's get a value of red with shade 100 uh, let's go with 200 okay so now you can see that our range slider is little customized and for that you can also get a property called labels and it takes the value as range labels so for that let's get our range labels for example range labels like this for example let's get labels equal to range labels so it also takes the value of a start in the form of string so like this and in our labels give labels to it okay so like this now let's save our app and to display our labels you have to set the value of labels equal to range labels and in the on start we have to give a string for uh, let's say the value our value dot start dot int dot to string to display it as a string and in the same thing this will be our start and this will be our end value okay so let's save our app and now let's try our range slider so as you can see it is not showing any label so for that what you need to do is there's a property called divisions in our range slider you need to sit set the divisions for example let's set six as a division value so now let's see our labels are visible and there are six divisions to our slider so these are some basics of range sliders Hope you found this helpful do subscribe to my channel if you found this helpful and see you in the next video